when you see one of those documentaries on telly, like the 600 pound man or something, and he's being winched out of his house to go to hospital, right? <laughs> if you're dangling from a crane, right? <laughs> and you see a film crew, right? <laughs> you know you fucked it. <laughs> and then, you know, as I say, then they wake up the next day and they've had their legs amputated. It's really sad and they're crying and I'm crying. They're going, oh, God, why did they let it go this far? I'm so stupid. Then they get philosophical about it and they go, I never really used the legs. <laughs> so... And by then it's lunchtime and so, you know... And they go to the nurse, you didn't throw them legs away, did you? <laughs> what do you like to do when you're here in the city? Um... Well, we eat, usually, because, no, no, but uh, we've had Christmas and I put on five pounds at Christmas. In fact, I tweeted, so I put on five pounds, um, fat shame me to get me out of it. And people were saying things like, <laughs> how, how do you get Ricky Gervais into a shower? Grease the sides and throw in a cookie. So, <laughs> right? <laughs> Unbelievable. I saw a documentary back in England about this woman who was 350 pounds, because she ate 10 burger and fries a day. That'll do it. <laughs> 10 separate meals of burger and fries, 10 separate trips to McDonald's, right? In a cab? Oh, didn't even walk that. <laughs> Wasted calories, okay? So, to stop her eating these meals, they wired her jaw together. So she liquidized 10 burger and fries a day. <laughs> Now she's on burger smoothies. Now she's not even chewing. That used up three calories. Do you know? <laughs> so lo and behold, she gets fatter. So they admitted her to have that thing done where you staple your stomach together. And she's sitting there in hospital, looking all depressed. Well, you can't eat for an hour before an operation, can you? <laughs> Lank hair, smock. Christ knows where they got that, right? <laughs> and she said, it's a really dangerous procedure, but it's the only option left. <laughs> One, jogging? <laughs> you don't even walk. Right. Uh, salad? You don't like the taste. Three, nine burger and fries a day. <laughs> I was on a plane last year, okay, going from New York to LA, okay, and me and my girlfriend were one side of the plane, there was the aisle, and the other side there were these two huge fat women, okay, proper, proper, proper fat. One of them just got on and went, can I have a belt extension? Yeah, of course you can, you've earned it, right? So, <laughs> proper, in fact, I was thinking of calling the pilot out and going, should one of us swap with one of them? Otherwise, we're just going to Canada, do you know what I mean? We're And one of them was even fatter than the other one, okay? And she was there, and she'd got on the plane with one of those takeaway buckets of fast food. Bucket! I mean, there's your first clue. When did that happen? When did fat people just give up? When did they go into a shop and go, oh, fuck it, just treat me like a farmyard animal, really? <laughs> give me it in a bucket. In fact, just strap it to my fucking head, and I'll just... A bucket? Really, you want your meal in a bucket? Yes, right? So, she's there and she's chowing down, right? And I swear, she turns to her fat friend and says, this is the best fried chicken I've had all day. Now, there's even a stigma, like doctors get in trouble for saying to someone, you're overweight or obese, they go, no, that's a political thing. No, it's like fat shaming, it's not fat, it's, you don't get cancer shaming, he's trying to save your life, right? There was a school that tried to ban the word obese, because they said it was derogatory to, f I don't know what to call them, um, <laughs> round children, right? <laughs> but that's the polite word. That's the word we invented, so we didn't say fat little fucker. Don't, <laughs> don't keep changing words because one person gets offended. Also, fat people aren't offended by the word obese. They did it all, they're happy with it. They're jolly, aren't they? They're jolly, oh, you know, you see a fat people go, all right, fatty, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And they go to the doctor, come in. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor goes, fuck me. Oh. <laughs> Am I obese? <laughs> no, you're morbidly obese. <laughs> what does that mean?
screen. <laughs> Means you're going to die of it. Oh, does it? All right. <laughs> what, straight away or...? No, 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 no. Uh, you've got uh, diabetes, so you're, you're having your legs amputated soon. And um, then you'll, if you carry on, you'll die later of, like, stroke and respiratory, heart failure, so... All right. <laughs> is there anything I can do? Oh, yeah, of course there is. You could start working out and eat healthy, you'll be right as rain. Oh, right. But you won't, will you? <laughs> Particularly fat women, because fat is a feminist issue. Men get fat and we just go, fuck it, all bought and paid for, you know. <laughs> we don't come under the same constraints of society, whereas women are inundated with images of how you should be. Size zero models, this diet, that diet, look like this, keep your man. And they make such an effort, don't they, fat girls? They've always got lovely hair, aren't they? They're always having their hair. They've always got lovely hair. Always got lovely hair. Always got those lovely false nails, haven't they? They make an effort. Anything but jogging, right? <laughs> they love high heels, don't they? They think it makes their legs look less... It doesn't. It just... <laughs> you can just hear them coming now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any fat people to feel uncomfortable at one of my gigs, so next time, buy two seats. I'm, I'm joking, I'm dead, I'm joking, shut up. We have, uh, we have some fat people in Britain, but um, you, like everything else, are, are the gold medalists of that as well, right? <laughs> You'd win that in the Olympics. I saw this episode of Jerry Springer. It was called Jerry Springer Saves the World's Fattest Man. You've got to watch that. So he's there going, OK, let's try and save this guy's life. He's got a heart of gold as well. He's like me, right? <laughs> so, so it cut to this guy at home in his house. They couldn't bring him to the studio. They had a camera crew there. And I say house. He was in a trailer, obviously. And um, <laughs> he was. He was. He was like a big blob on the bed. He sort of filled the trailer. He looked like an un uncooked souffle. <laughs> and... It was, you could just see like, his eyes in this doughy mess. And uh, he was going, I don't want to die, Jerry. I don't want to die. And I felt sorry for him. I got over that. But, and I said, how much do you weigh? And he, and he weighed a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds. Now, my point is this. When he weighed himself one day and he was say. 500 pounds. <laughs> Didn't he think then that was a lot? <laughs> Didn't he go, that's a lot? <laughs> For a human? <laughs> For what is essentially a land mammal? <laughs> that's a lot. I'll only have eight breakfasts today. When we were kids and we'd sneak out with your parents' vodka. I'm fat, I'm overweight. Do you know why? Because I eat and drink too much. That's what does it. I don't judge fat people, I just know how they got fat. If I see a fat person, I go, well done. You know, <laughs> you've eaten way more than you'll ever need. Same as me, right? <laughs> If I see a fat couple, I go, yeah, that works, right? <laughs> but then as they're walking along, right, and you see their little fat toddlers, and you go, ah, oh, that's not fair, right? <laughs> and the mother always goes, they love cake. Of course they love cake. <laughs> they're baby mammals. We're, we're the same species as we were, like, 200,000 years ago. We've got a hunter-gatherer brain, right? All this affluence is so much faster than our human biology. So when you get one of those cakes from the supermarket that's packed with fats and sugar, you do, like, your brain goes, fucking hell, that's amazing. Keep eating that. There might not be food tomorrow. But there will be food tomorrow. The fridge is full and your mum's on the phone to a cardo. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, but I do do an awful lot for charity. Um, <laughs> But I think some causes are more worthy than others. Joking aside, obviously cats is a very worthy cause, autism is a very worthy cause. But I got asked to do a benefit gig recently for sufferers of obesity. What? <laughs> she went, sufferers of obesity. I went, do you mean fat people? <laughs> she went, no, because obesity is... Well, she actually went, no, because she was eating. 
She went, good. No, just, you know, between snacks, like. And uh, she went, obesity is a disease. No, it's not, is it? <laughs> you just like eating, don't you? <laughs> no, it's not, is it? How is that a disease? Oh, I'm so fucking ill. Oh, 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 I'm well ill. I'm well ill. Oh. I said, what's the disease? She went, everything tastes good. <laughs> everything, yeah. Not salads, but... <laughs> It's not a disease, is it? <laughs> Leprosy is a disease. <laughs> Can you imagine Jesus in the temple? People shuffling up to him in bandages going, Jesus, my face is falling off. I can't stop now, there's a fat chick on a third pie. <laughs> people say, they make excuses, don't they, fat people? They say, it's glandular. It's not glandular, it's greed, okay? <laughs> it's big bones. Yeah, big bones covered in meat and gravy. They complain, and it's their own fault. Oh, I'm getting fat, oh. Oh, look, I'm getting fat, oh. Oh, aeroplane seats. <laughs> they're not big enough for someone like me. No, they're not. Because if they were, we'd only get 12 fucking people on the plane. <laughs> it's not fair. It is fair, that's what does it. And if we're talking about fairness and aeroplanes, why is it I get the same luggage allowance as a guy who's 400 pounds? We're both allowed to carry on 32 kilograms to the plane. I want to go, no, he used up his 32 kilograms on his tits. <laughs> <laughs>